all my zealots out there, welcome to another video with your man, Zealot, for Christ, or just Zealot. Oh, gosh, it's been a while. But anyways, I'm sorry I haven't been around recently. I've been doing a lot of stuff, like, um, trying to just work on finals and things like that and this and that and the other. Um, but I'm happy to be back finally. I'm gonna be able to talk and, you know, after that last one, uh, which I, I'm super glad that we were able to have, like, conversations over the comments where I was able to clear stuff up and just plainly I love arguing. I, it's not the fact that I love having conflict, it's the fact that I love sharing our opinions about each other and although you may not come to a necessary conclusion, it's always nice just hearing the other person's side and being able to just like converse with them. Um, okay, so today I'm going to be telling you a story. I was walking home one day from school and this isn't the story by the way, this is just the background. I was walking home from school one day and I thought of this as I was just walking because, you know, you sit, you think, you do stuff. Uh, okay, so here it goes. There once was a man who sat on top of a hill. He looked upon a broken city and as he sat there, he did not move. For years he sat in the same position, just staring. Until one day, it came to the end of his life and on the brink of death, a boy came up to him and asked him, why have you just sat here for your entire life? And the man said, I was so afraid of breaking the city further that I never attempted to fix it. Now, this is the second part of the story that I will now tell you. There was a man who sat on top of a hill, staring out into a broken city. He saw the city for what it could be and not for what it was. He got up and went out to gather people to fix the broken glass of the windows in the shops and in the houses. He brought them all together and he made the city into a utopia. As the man started to die, on his deathbed, people were gathered around him and a boy out of all the crowd came up to him and asked him, what was your biggest success? The man said, I got up and attempted to fix this broken city. Now, you guys can take the story for however you want. I just thought I'd share it because it was cool that I thought of this. Um, I never really thought of a story before and hey, I was able to share it with people and now I can always remember it on my channel for what I remember as it is. Um, so if you guys want to have conversations, that's cool. Uh, and by the way, a uh, bit of, the, of information about the last video. What I was trying to say wasn't that I didn't like the people who are homosexuals. I was trying to say that they are sinning, that homosexuality is a sin, and that they couldn't live life as proper Christians and accept homosexuality. They could live life and fight against homosexuality as Christians for all their life, and they would go to heaven, and they would be fine. But with that impl inflammation that they were homosexual, that they accepted it, and that they didn't fight against it, that is what damns people. So, this is all I really have to say for now. Um, this was a nice little video. Sorry I wasn't back. It's a nice little thing to get back up on a task. I think I might do, like, one of those, like, really in-depth videos every, like, ten. Because, like, or, uh, or five or something like that. Because I did five, and then I did ten, and then, I don't know, maybe fifteen will be something cool, too. Um, so, if you like this video, give it a good, and hit that like button, and I'll see you all in the next video.